I'm Blake Prohl, I'm 23, and I'm a wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. My dad played in the NFL for 17 years. My brother played, plays in the NFL. And it was always a dream of mine because I always wanted to follow my dad's footsteps. I never did any musical lessons. My family's not musical, nobody's musical. My dad, he's always believed in me more than I have myself. So to see him kind of encourage me and push me along in this aspect of a completely different world, you know, athletic world and then there's a music world. And he pushed me along with that and that's kind of how I got going. So it's been, it's been amazing. We're doing great tonight. Everybody do what we've been doing. I'll just look at you guys and we're going to be good regardless. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love you guys. Let's do this. Blizzy P on three. Oh, yeah. One, two, two three. three. Blizzy P. <laughs> All right. New York was popping. Oh. Every time I look at you. I can feel the minutes move like time is taking you from me. The main reason why I got into music is because I found myself in such a dark time and it was such a big injury, you know, it wasn't just an ACL, it was my whole knee. Everything got stripped from me. I remember just being like super depressed and high anxiety about like, what is my life going to be if I can't play again? What if I can't run routes again? The music really brought you know, brought that for me. It brought a lot of things I could say through my voice and um, write lyrics that really meant something to me. And I, something I could inspire people through is, you know, my voice and my lyrics. And it's something I've been super, super thankful for. It's, it really has saved me. Growing up, he definitely loved music. You know, he was always singing and dancing and, you know, very drawn to music. When he was somewhere between three and four years old, he told me that music was in him. He said that as a very young, young boy. Music is in me. So this next song actually drops tonight at midnight. Um, it's called Think I Like You, and I definitely need you guys' help. We're gonna practice real quick. So you guys repeat after me. I think I like you, I think I like you. I think I like you, I think I like you. All right, you guys are good, let's, let's run it. Each and every day. You know, he goes out there and works on his craft and perfects his craft and then goes home and perfects his next craft and that's singing. Man, I'm so proud to be his older brother and, and just seeing him live his dream both on and off the field and on that stage. Man, it was so cool to see him tonight just doing what he does and, and being who he is and being who God made him to be. Ultimately, it's him. You know, it's about him and his mindset. You know, it's six inches between the ears. And our dad instilled that in us, you know, from a young age. And uh, he's attacked this process. And I think that's uh, a testament to him. Blown away. Blown away. Dude, you transform and you're a star. You're ready. Like, yeah. you got to do that a lot. We got to keep going. Just say winning. Win just say winning. Okay, winning. Please, on the count of three. One, <laughs> two, three. Winning! <laughs> Guys. Honestly, dude, it was, it was amazing. It was a night I'll never forget. Hopefully people can feel that in my songs, in my voice is to just, you know, whatever whatever you want to do, whatever your heart, you know, pushes you to, like, you should do it. You know what I mean? You should give everything you have because this life is so short. But this feels like